Hi, I'm Doug Young. And uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a whole bunch of condenser mics. And uh, we're gonna compare them on acoustic guitar. Uh, because we're gonna be doing different performances, I'm going to do uh, multiple guitars, multiple little musical clips with each mic, with the idea that uh, maybe that'll help it uh, make more sense if I have some variation of my playing. So uh, listen to these, and if you think you like a particular microphone, uh, make sure that you like it on all the guitars and all the examples, and we'll see if that helps. These microphones are going to span a wide range of cost. We'll take a look at them in a second. And I'm going to present them for you back to back, uh, dry, no EQ, no processing. And then uh, after that, we'll also uh, revisit them all, and I'll do some EQ and processing the way I would probably do in a mix, just to give you some idea about how the microphones would actually work in real practice. So with that, uh, let's take a look at the microphones that we're gonna be exploring. The CAD 217 is a tiny little mic. It's a very inexpensive mic, interesting little microphone, and of course, very affordable. The AT2020 by Audio-Technica is a, a very popular, inexpensive microphone. Now this one looks like a large diaphragm condenser mic, but actually inside the capsule is at best a medium-sized capsule and perhaps even small. So it's, you can't be fooled by the package. By the way, Audio-Technica not too long ago announced that they had just sold their millionth AT2020. So this is a very common and very popular inexpensive option for home recording. The Rode NT5 is another popular mic for home recording, relatively inexpensive, although a step up from the previous mic. This is a small diaphragm cardioid condenser. Next up, we'll look at a Neumann KM184. Uh, this is a studio classic that's used in professional studios everywhere, but also relatively accessible for home recording if your budget allows. And finally, we're gonna take a look at a pair of Shep's CMC6 with MK41 capsules. Uh, now these mics are a little more expensive again. They're nearly double the, uh, the cost of the Neumanns. I should note that the MK41s are super cardioids. Just means they're a little bit more directional than the other mics, which are all just ordinary cardioids. For this demo, it shouldn't make a lot of difference. Before we listen, I do want to issue one warning, not just about this demo, but any audio comparison you listen to online or even one that you do yourself. Because of the Fletcher Munson curves, our ears hear differently at different levels, and we almost always think louder sounds better, even if we know one sample is louder. The obvious solution is to always compare at the same volume, uh, but that's trickier than it sounds. I've tried very hard to make sure these samples are all at the same level. I've used the computer to measure and match the levels and also tweak the final clips to sound the same to my ears. But because each clip is a separate performance, a simple inconsistency in my playing, hitting some note just a hair harder or softer can affect your perception even if the overall clip is the same volume. Also, tonal difference between the mics complicates our perception. A mic that's thinner or brighter may sound like it's a different volume than one that's warmer or fatter, even if they're nominally the same volume. So keep that in mind as you listen to any comparisons, including these. So with that, let's go listen to some microphones. 